If you haven't checked out part one, please do so where I swatch all 56 shades of the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup Foundation. So in this video, we're gonna be doing a wear test at the end. And yeah, we're gonna do a full review wear test swatches. Girl, makeup application, this is gonna be a packed makeup video okay so stay tuned if you would like to see my application video slash wear test slash review so before we get into applying everything i want to swatch the three colors that they chose that were closest to my skin complexion so the first one is 5w2 which is rich caramel and i'm just gonna swatch it right here on my face um that is definitely not my complexion like not even in the winter this is usually what i get wear all year round and that's 6w1 sandalwood i also have 6w2 nutmeg and i'm gonna swatch that as well and this one is darker okay so um i think right now Hmm, I'm thinking 6W2 Nutmeg is looking good. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with 6W2 Nutmeg. So I'm going to start off with the Estee Lauder, the Smoother Universal Perfecting Primer. Okay, and it says you can use it by itself or you can apply it after moisturizer before foundation. So, um, applying it, it's definitely silicone based. It has that very soft feel to it, and it just makes your skin look ear brushed. And it feels really, really nice. And I'm really into smoothing primers or moisturizing primers um, or anything to make my skin. A little bit more moisturized because my skin doesn't do good with um, anything too matte so um, now I'm gonna follow with both of these foundations 6w1 sandalwood I'm gonna put more like where I feel like I'm a little lighter and I'm just gonna dot it I'm gonna use it for like the inside of my face. I'm gonna use 6W2 Nutmeg for like the perimeter where I feel like I'm a little darker because I, I really can't choose between the two. And when I blended it out, it kind of just looked the same. It wasn't like a big difference in my opinion, so. the only thing I cannot stand is that they do not have a pump because I feel like you waste more product when you don't have a pump I'm gonna use my damp beauty blender and just blend everything together Okay, I do feel like I want to add just a little bit more. Even though it looks good on camera, I feel like I still have like spots that I want to cover. So I'm going to go in with the nutmeg um, because right now, no, I, I really like this color. I feel like it's like the closest to my skin complexion right now. So I'm just adding some more just so I can have a little bit more of a fuller coverage in those areas where I feel like... I have more blemishes to cover up.
Okay, that's what I'm looking like, and I think it's a really, really, really good match. I think it looks really good. Today, I wanna set my face using a new um, powder that I just got. I was sent this powder, complimentary of Laura Mercier, and this is the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder, and I have it in the color Bronze 04, and I've been wanting to try it out. So this is what it looks like and I think it should definitely go with my skin complexion. It kind of looks a little light when I swatch it, but I think it'll be okay. I think it will. So after applying this powder, I could see that my face has like a bronzy glow to it and it's really, really pretty. I don't normally go for like a glowy look, but I'm just loving what this looks right now. It is so pretty. Oh, it's gorgeous, okay? So I'm gonna do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. So I just finished my face off and now I'm gonna apply the Estee Lauder Set and Refresh Perfecting Makeup Mist. And it feels so <laughs> refreshing and it's definitely a mix. Okay, so I finished off my makeup and I think it looks so pretty today like it looks really bronzy and just I just look ready for the summer and I think it just looks so freaking pretty I wish I found um some of these products uh earlier in the summer because then I would have been set but um yeah I just love the way my skin looks it's very glowy healthy and like radiant so um yeah I will be doing a check-in throughout the day right now it is 4 26 p.m and we'll see what I look like in a few hours okay so I am back with the check-in it is now 4 5 a.m so it has been about 11 and a half to 12 hours that I've had this foundation on and honestly I am like floored I'm floored at how amazing my skin looks to be honest with you this is the most amazing I think I have ever seen my skin look with foundation on after this many hours like normally around the I want to say fourth to fifth hour with other foundations and other powders I actually start to look oily and then it just starts to get you know brighter and brighter and brighter the oil <laughs> um as you know the time passes but for me to have this on for 12 hours and have this little bit of shine that's going on it doesn't even look like shine it just looks like a very very natural glow like a little bit dewy and that may be because i'm sweating right now i'm so hot and the only reason why i don't have the ac on right now is because um it makes so much noise and i didn't want y'all to hear it in the video but i'm scorching like i can't even explain to y'all i think i might be going through the change because i have been so hot all day for no damn reason with the air on it doesn't matter i'm just scorching hot so um i'm really really impressed i think i'm going to be wearing this foundation with the primer and the setting spray whenever i wear one i'm gonna wear them all also really really love the way the um matte radiance baked powder from laura mercier looked on my skin like I just really look radiant and glowy and bronzy and I don't look oily or cakey or any of that it just looks like a super duper natural finish and I'm just like so in love with this makeup look right now I'm just really really love in love and love and love to be honest with you this is the best my makeup has ever looked after hours of wear like this is the best so um I definitely think they're all going to be in my favorites like all these products in conjunction with one another just works very very well on my skin type and I do have oily combination skin type I'm oily in my t-zone and um, the rest of my face sometimes it can get a little dry 
but I do like to hydrate and moisturize. I feel like that combats the oils best when it comes to my skin type, okay? So I like to hydrate. Um, sometimes I'll do matte, but I feel like matte um, definitely makes me break out. So I tend to do the other, um, I tend to do the opposite. But I think that, like I was saying, um, everything just looks really, really good together, and I will highly recommend every single thing that I tried out. They are literally going in my tops like when I am going out when I'm going on any you know when I have an event when I'm going out anything like that I will definitely be wearing all of these together okay this cannot be my everyday makeup because you know I will feel like I'm wasting product <laughs> I'm gonna have to keep it in a stash for those special days like special moments like this is a foundation a powder a set and spray that I would definitely wear on my wedding day that's how I'm and I feel like it is so that is it for my review I would rate everything a 10 out of 10 to be honest with you I have no cons right now not one so that is it for this video again I want to say thank you so much to Estee Lauder for seeing something in me and decided to send me a package okay a PR package and I was so happy because y'all know this was already my favorite foundation but I never tried the primer or the setting spray and I've never tried that Laura Mercier matte um matte powder but I think that everything in conjunction with one another was just excellent and I'm so happy that I was able to try it out because I found some great products okay so i will have everything listed in the bottom bar just in case you want to check it out and i thank y'all so much for watching if you like videos like this don't forget to thumbs me up comment subscribe again thank you so much to all of my supporters because without y'all this would not have ever happened this is like going down in history as one of my like favorite moments as far as being on youtube like i got my first pr package from Estee Lauder at that. So we're gonna keep that same energy going for the rest of the year. We're gonna keep the positive vibes and the positivity just flowing, okay? The rest of 2018 is going to be amazing for us. I can see it already. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will speak to my next video. Bye y'all.